You find your rug? <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shaw Panther and here on this channel we do DIYs, plant related things sometimes. If you like any of that, don't forget to sub and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any videos and yeah in this video we are going to be doing a variety of things so I have this locker that I upcycled last summer there's an empty spot there and of course I'm like hmm room for more plants yes please and also this area is a spot where I edit my videos it's like kind of our little office area too so I've been looking for like a table lamp so I was thinking well I don't really need a table lamp if I'm gonna put plants there then I could put a light there so when we were exploring ikea one day i came across this item and the as is section and i thought hey that'd be a great decor piece to add to our home and put a plant there and i just think lighting plants and even planters are a great way to decorate your home as well so today we're gonna go plant shopping find the right plant that will look great going up this wall here we'll also be planter shopping um, i'll try to show you guys some like budget friendly places as well and then at the end of the video we are going to do some diy it's a simple diy but it'll be a fun one so i hope you guys enjoy this video in the forest. Oh, how was your first time at the forest? It was really good. Did you get lost? I got lost. You did? Yeah. I'm a baby. Wow, it's all protected too. Um, I didn't Kinda. get like a fancy like rare plant today, but it's okay. Maybe next time. Yeah, next time. We'll come back. Alright guys, we have moved on to the portion where I show you guys where you can get affordable, budget-friendly pots. Our first place here is Home Goods. So let's go check that out. find shell i don't know where she is let me try to find her shell where are you there you are i found you did you find your rugs oh i'm not really into blue but this is cute that is really nice i like the color another hack is find a candle that is also a planter because then it's you're buying two in one for example this is clearly a pot Cute. That is nice. Twelve ninety nine. Yeah, you get a candle and a planter. That's a deal. Oh, market.
So since the last clips were a total failure looking for pots and planters, I thought I'd pop in and show you some of my favorite pots and planters that I randomly find when I'm just out. For example, these are some of the ones that I find at like TJ Maxx and Marshalls. And I believe this one was like $5.99, which is a really good deal. Another one that I found was this pot. I like this one because it has like really nice texture. It's like organic and not like a uniform shape, which I really love about this pot. I actually found a pot similar to this for like $20 that I was gonna buy but I end up finding this at like Marshalls for $3.99. The key to home decor or anything is just patience. You want to find something that you really love, you know? And obviously you guys saw that I grabbed this one earlier, which is a fabric but you can always put like plastic liner inside of it, which I did show. And the next one I'm going to move to is pots that I bought that were previously candles. This is the very first one I found a while back and I think this one was like $5.99 as well. It was on sale too. So not only do I get a candle, I also get a planter out of it too, which is my favorite. This was also a candle. It comes with a little tray as well. And I just love terracotta that has like a unique design, like the rib design on this is very beautiful. Another candle is this one I'm burning right now, which I recently found. This was from Aldi. I don't know if you guys have an Aldi near you, but I can't wait to use this as a catch pot for my plant. This was also from Aldi. I'm sorry, I didn't mention. Well, I wanted to show you guys some of my like DIY planter. Well, one of my DIY planter, which is this basket. I made it to a plant stand in one of my older videos. The basket was like 25 bucks. And then also you can find stuff on Facebook Market and thrift finds as well. This is a plant stand I got for $10. Saw them online for pretty expensive so I was really excited to grab this on Facebook Market. There's different ways you can find planters. I think the key is to just be really patient, find the right pot for you. Can't wait to melt this one down and use that. So for the plants that I got in this video, I am going to use this rattan lampshade from Ikea. It was at the as a section for $18.99. So basically, I'm going to do it the same way as I did that plant light, which is putting it on the top, hanging the cord with the ball at the right height that I want it at. It took me about an hour to clean it to my satisfaction. I find that the more of the organic stuff that you get off of your roots, the better it will transition to like a... Oh, and I'm also going to transfer this variegated plant that I got on Facebook Market. It's growing a new leaf here, so I'm going to put that into its new pot as well. Here is the pot I'm going to put it in. I put a little Ziploc bag in there since it doesn't have anything to hold the water.
And now, here is how everything came together. You guys made it to the end of the video. Thanks for sticking around. Hope you learned a thing or two about how you can use plants as home decor with the lighting and the planter. Like a pop of the yellow that matches the colors in my home adds to your home decor. And the fact that it trails up against the wall, it's gonna look beautiful once it gets big and bushy. So yeah, let me know down below in the comments which decor piece that you like the most. Was it the plant selection? These guys? these babies or the lamp or the planter do you think adds to it like look at the texture of this thing let me know down below and thanks for watching i will catch you in the next one bye